previously. You don't think John killed him, do you? Of course he did. He's always hated his fans. We need to call a council meeting. If you don't know what Sally Face is, it's about a little boy named Sally with a prosthetic face who moves into a new apartment. Hello? Hey guys, it's Guys. What are you doing right now? Hey guys, it's Guys. Just watching, uh... Sally face on YouTube, like usual. Ooh, classic. Which episode? Uh, it's just a rewatch of episode three, the baloney incident. You know, I don't get why no one's uploaded episode four yet, right? Right? Right. Doesn't make any sense. Oh yes, the reason I called. We're summoning the council. The council? This must be serious. It's about you know who. Say no more. I'm on my way. Okay, bye guys, it's guys. With his father, and a lot of very weird stuff happens. It's, it's just a narrative rich, story rich, beautifully weird. Hey guys, it's John, and today we are playing Bunny the Horror Game, a $3 game on Steam that I picked to play today because from the title, I knew it was gonna be a real winner. As you can see, the bunny is behind bars, no danger to anyone. I guess we're gonna be running from it in a second. These are the options, that's a great sign. Let's go ahead and get started. Pressing start woke him up. It startled him. Q, drop item, E, take item, F, drop mask. Okay, I don't see why dropping the mask in particular has to be a separate key. But yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Here we are in the game. This was made in Unity. Nothing in the drawer. Did we sleep here? How did we get to wherever this place is? Where are we? Bunny the horror game. <laughs> Maybe have a name for the bunny. Maybe don't just call it bunny. Is this a gun? Oh, we're not gonna have any trouble with him now. Bow body. So it's not a gun? It's got a suction cup on the end. What, does a little flag come out when we pull the trigger and say gotcha? This is some Looney Tunes shit. There's nothing in any of these drawers from what I can see. Hide. Okay. I see no reason to hide. We have a gun. Hide. They're really insistent on hiding. Oh, you picked the wrong day to mess with me, buddy. The gun's not firing. Huh. What? Day two? Oh, no. Oh, no, it's another granny ripoff. I didn't realize. Ah, uh, can't I just- oh, hey. Here you are. I'll take you with me, bow body. Can't you just play a regular horror game these days without being related to Granny somehow? Pick up. No! Turn it off! That's not picking it up, that's turning it on. When it says pick up, and I press E, you're supposed to take it with you. Not turn it on. Now he's gonna hear us. Oh, here we go. Baseball bat. There we go. Yeah. You mess with us again? Gonna get your face beat in. Hide. Oh, in the bathtub? What a great hiding place. Is it wet in here? Oh, he'll never see us in here, guys. <laughs> Where'd he go? Okay. We splish splashed out of there. So this is a safe. Put the gear. I guess we're supposed to find another gear. What, you came back up here? I was gonna go hide in the bathtub again. He drops bear traps? That's just like Granny. <laughs> Knife. We keep picking up these weapons. Baseball bat, knife. Can't use them, though. Um, 
rip the nail. Can't do it. I guess we need like a claw hammer or a crowbar to get that giant ass nail. There's another trap here. How many does the bunny have? Lever. Where is he? I like how he makes absolutely no audio cues. Absolutely none. Games like this rely on audio cues. Just FYI. I mean, we can just outrun him, so I guess it doesn't matter. Okay, I went back downstairs. What? That's the exact same place he was before! Oh, boy. What does this do? Are you serious? There's a car? Oh, bow body. I get it. We can make a crossbow. Oops. I can hide in there? Well, he's really stupid, so... Watermelon? Don't tell me I cut it open. Don't tell me I cut it open. Oh my god, I cut up the watermelon in the guillotine. Put on the watermelon. And a key comes out. No way, that's lifted straight from Granny. I think I, I think I actually hear him. I thought I heard him. Is he not there? Main key. All right, guys, we got the main key. <sighs> Where's the main key go? Hmm. <laughs> to the main door. <laughs> Is that that door that's downstairs? Oh, there he is. Oh, crap. Rip the plank. Ah, crap. Okay. Where am I going? Where is this? Hide? No! Oh! Oh, no! Oh, no! There's gas! This place is bigger than I thought! You know, when we play Granny, at least we know that we're in Granny's house. Here, I have no idea where we are. <coughs> Ow, shut up. I cannot breathe, I must go. Well, the key is, like, right there, dude. Can you pick- I can see it! It's on the step! Pick up the key! <coughs> it's right there! It's literally right there! Bend down, pick up the key! Is there no way to crouch? All my progress has led me to this point. There it is! Oh my god. I'll, t I'll try my chances with the- with the gas. Yeah, come on down! Well, he just, he just marches on down to the gas. I only get four days. What's with the karate moves? How did I die? Same sound effect twice there. Another one. Why, why do you assume I want to play this again? How about no? Okay, I didn't know this was gonna be a granny-like. I'm just gonna hop out now. The, the game changed resolutions. Do you see the black bars? You had one job. Alright, guess what? This is a three random horror games video. I was gonna just play this the whole video, but nope. It's too shit. I gotta find two other games. Alright. Hey guys, I'm back. This is a game called Lifo. And it's currently the highest rated new horror game on Itch.io. I'll leave a link in the description if you'd like to check it out. It's free, unlike that last game. Actually, that's not true, because what I found out about that last game, about Bunny, the horror game, it's $3 on Steam, but guess how much it is on mobile? Zero. It's free on iOS. I looked it up, because I thought to myself, this kind of screams PC port of mobile game to me, and what do you know? It was a mobile game first. It's actually been out for months on mobile, but they just put it out on PC. Anyway, I'm gonna stop talking about Bunny the Horror Game because honestly, we don't need to talk about it. Let's go ahead and start a new game. Are you sure you wanna start a new game? Um, 
Nah. You know what? You had your chance, Lifo. I don't think so. I'm just kidding. I'll play it. God. New game. Yes! I hate it when they ask me that. Hey, babe. Honey, where are you? You've been gone for hours now. Look, I know I've been a dick to you, but you know I don't mean when I say when I'm angry. The things I said to you, they're, they're horrible, and I didn't mean any of it. Please, just call me back. Bye. <laughs> Look at their expressions. Okay, Amy, this is not funny. Why In that first phone, she's like, "If you don't call me back by midnight, I'm calling the cops." Was that a threat, buddy? You're gonna call the cops, huh? Maybe she's just ignoring you. Ever think of that cargo shorts? Let's get up. What is that? Get up! Get. There's black gas coming into. Nothing? Get up! This guy's taking it like a champ. Not worried at all. <laughs> He's cool with it. He's fine. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'm getting drugged and kidnapped. Whatever. <laughs> you deserve to be kidnapped. This is... This is a Darwin Award at work. Babe, why won't you call me back? Oh, I'm getting drugged. Ugh. And that's the end of him, as far as I'm concerned. Okay, we're getting carried. Lifo. Can't even read it, because it was in the shadow. Okay, I need to... I need to cool it. This could be really good. Let's check it out. What the fuck? Oh! Damn it. I need that to be my alarm clock. We hope you had a comfortable journey. Seeing as you made it whole, that's more than so. <laughs> now, space to skip is what I'm it was saying. Guess. Just out of logic, out of common sense, you noticed the song. If that's so, you should be able to tell it's a little used. Turns out the others have more brains than I thought. Now I'm gonna conclude... What was that? ...that you're different. You're not the same. You're not gonna be a dick. You're gonna do pretty much gonna do everything, anything, to get your ass out of there. Don't you wanna? Don't you wanna? Don't you wanna Fanta? Don't you fucking wanna! <laughs> he really loves Fanta. He's mad I'm not playing along. Here's the deal. We're gonna need you to answer a simple little riddle. Okay. You ready? You ready? Yes. So here goes the riddle. A thin bear whose voice is one, whose feet are four, and two and three. So mutable, a thing is not that moves in earth or sky or sea. I can't understand you. Where the most fitness thing not go is strength. I'm gonna the dirt. The beast slayer. What? Do you forgive the comic relief? Now uh, I'm gonna be generous and I'm gonna help you. It's a big giveaway. It's a big giveaway. The little fucking the word you're looking for has five letters. Yep, five. One more thing, uh, got a hundred seconds. Hundred seconds. Write your answer here. Repeat the riddle, please. A thing there whose voice is one, whose feet are four, and two and three. So mutable, a thing is none that moves in earth or sky or sea. When and most feet this thing not go, is strength is weakest at its pace, most slow. When, it, when it's on all of its feet, it's the weakest and slowest. What, me? 
Does he answer me? I'm a human! Got it correct. It's correct. Okay, hang on. Before we before we progress, are the subtitles on? There's no subtitles. Sorry guys, I tried. There were subtitles on in the beginning for his phone call that we could clearly hear, but not for this guy who's operating 10 million miles away and using the worst microphone imaginable. Okay, what? So that's it? Wow, we really dodged a bullet there. Are these supposed to be decapitated heads? People make some ugly faces when they die. Look at this dude. Looks like Sloth from the Goonies. Okay, let's go. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> when all its feet it doth go, its strength is weakish, and its pace most slow. Hello. What's going on in here? Some kinky shit. Hi. Uh, you're mannequins, though, so you're scary, and I'm not supposed to trust you. Why are you wearing lingerie? Mm. Yes, hi. For that door, you're gonna have to find a key. Yeah. Lucky for you, uh, it's right next to you, pretty much. Uh, all you gotta do is look at the door, face the door, and to the right of it, you should see the sunflower room. Uh, head inside. This isn't right next to me, but okay. <sighs> oh, Spooter. Speaking of Spooters, I can't wait for the Spider-Man PS4 game to come out. Give me that crap. I'm a big Spider-Man fan. Did you guys know that? You might know not know that. Ugh. You might not know that because I don't talk much about my interests in videos aside from horror media. Let's go along the outskirts. So these are sunflowers, right? How'd they grow in here? There's no sun. They're not called dark flowers. Got them. Up top. So where am I supposed to be going? I'm looking for the key, right? <laughs> Where's the key? Is it like in the center of the room? Oh wait, no, there's something over here. There's a door. Let me just... Oh, I escaped. Wait! Got the key, now I gotta head back. Uh, maybe I should turn off the flashlight. <laughs> JK, we're gonna keep it on. Spire's not gonna do crap. Oh, there it is. It's skittering. Hopefully it can't see me. Oh, there it is. Thankfully I make far less noise when I'm crouching. Okay, let's just, let's go in here. Yeah, close the door. Close, close the door, please. So skittering spooter can't get us. What next? What's my next challenge? Uh. Here she is, ladies and gentlemen. A young soul waiting to be rescued by a knight in shining armor. Mm, but the knight has a choice. Will he choose to save her or himself? It's up to him. The really fun part is. <laughs> he doesn't know which button saves who. Okay. Let's just press one then. This one. Oh no, she died. Let's leave. We live. Uh, I bet that wasn't even her. Can I close? Another hallway. Okay. Do I just leave? I mean, what's the point of making the choice if it's just random? Which button does what? 
I'm not gonna play this again to get both endings. Okay. So what, so I don't live? Now eh, whatever. When there was poison black gas coming in through the vents, that guy in his cargo shorts just laid there and took it. Didn't do anything. So as far as I'm concerned, that death was just backloaded. Should have happened earlier, but instead it happened a little later. Well, that was lifeo. <laughs> um. Oh man, I hate saying this because it makes me sound like one of those people. But the cringy voice kind of ruined it for me. The Jim Carrey esque Joker like dialogue from the kidnapper. I just wasn't into it. I didn't buy it. And that probably harmed the game more than anything else because he talks a lot. And for someone who, who talks a lot in the beginning, our protagonist is strangely silent. Even when his girlfriend dies. <laughs> no reaction from them. No like... <sighs> I mean, horror games love to make their protagonists go out of breath at every possible moment to showcase their stress. But in this one, there was just none of that. A little weird. Uh, yeah, LIFO. Free game plays like it. I will say, I think I think this idea has been better executed in a game called Captured that I played a while back where you're kidnapped and it's kind of a saw-like atmosphere. I mean, this game went for more of a you must solve my riddle angle than, you know, you're trapped in a room with a guy who has a chainsaw. But I kind of like the latter approach more. Anyway, that was LIFO. Let's move on to the third game. Hey guys, it's John again. Uh, this game is called Error Number 54, the second highest rated horror game on Itch.io when I looked just now. And I'm desperate for content, so we're playing it. This is the main menu. <laughs> Let's look at the options. Oh no, okay. Oh God. Game. Language. In Ingilsh. Oh, wow. Red flags everywhere. We can cankle interact with Mouse One. Let's just go. Let's just get this over with. New game. <laughs> I don't think a game's ever had a worse first impression <laughs> from the main menu than what I just had. Oh, boy. This is beta's 0.1.1. Just so we're all clear on that. Very dark. It said low brightness recommended. Wait, so our camera settled in at the top of the guy's head, but now we're seeing through his eyes. I see. Oh, this is very dark. There's no cursor lock either. Um, ease backwards. Do flashlights make you sigh? Press mouse one to continue. Yeah, mouse one. That's not left mouse button? What's mouse one if it's not left mouse button? Okay. I'll add it. Flashlight was added to inventory. Okay, now we press F. Thank you, get some light in here. Board up windows. Oh my god, that's loud. Is there something here? Oh, get it out of my face, wow. Oh, okay. I never thought I'd be glad to walk down into a dark basement, but here we go. Happy to be here. Thank you for the backwards ease. Up, oh, it's the same hallway. No, no, it's a PT like. No. The scariest thing in this game is the super loud radio that we can't turn off. God, if you guys could know how loud that is in the headphones. 
I don't even have this on like loud volume or anything. Okay, if I know how PT likes work, I know we just gotta go through the loop a certain number of times before something happens. Oh, this door opens now, thank god. Uh, yeah, add it to the inventory. Broken lantern was added to the inventory, great. Glad we have a broken lantern. Lantern that doesn't work. Oh, a note. Cybercrime, the latest news for today. A dangerous virus has rapidly captured hundreds of thousands of devices around the world. American telecommunications company, Jane Freak, has warned users about the active spreading of malicious software called a number 54. Oh. Error number 54. This virus has infected hundreds of thousands of computers and this number is growing exponentially. Information security experts claim that this virus collects all possible information about the user and transmits it to the creator. Creators capitalized. So, does that mean God? London and Washington accused Russia of spreading virus. Wow. What a surprise. Surprise! There was nothing in any of the drawers. We got a broken lantern though, so time to go through the loop once again, right? Let's go. Gotta go through the loop until something happens. I know. I Same. Big mood. I, I feel you. Did it open? What is that? I keep seeing like a wispy smoke here. Oh, thank God. Turned off the radio. What now? Oh, now you're locked, huh? Oh, gotta go through another loop. Something tells me that the light turning off is the only thing that happens in that one. Is there something written on the wall? No. Oh my god, when you turn... You can see your character model. I think that's what I was seeing right here. Oh, this door opens. Oh, boring. Did it shut behind me? What's this? Key was added to inventory. I believe there were multiple keys. Oh! Ah, uh, okay, wait. Open the drawer. Something happened out there. Still can't open. Just gotta sit back and wait. Aha. Oh, now we can go. Okay, let's go through another loop. Actually, wait, let's check this door first. I feel like an idiot because it's closed. Apparently we needed a key that time. We've never needed a key before. What's new on this loop? Creaky ass floor. Sometimes there are loops in which nothing happens. So I'm hoping that's not the case. Are we gonna light this fire at any point? In the city of Portland, residents reported the loss of a well-known video blogger. <laughs> Having on the channel more than 100,000 subscribers. Ooh. On the channel blogger, wait, on the channel, Blogger shared how to fix various system errors and get rid of viruses. It is known that the blogger at the time of the kidnapping was at home and filmed another video tutorial and even managed to save the file called How to Fix Number 54 System Error. The search has already begun. So wait, if that was the lost video, what were all the other videos? <laughs> Wasting his time not fixing the virus? Okay, well... Okay, so super smart video vlogger with a uh, hundred thousand subscribers. I'm sorry, but like, if somebody with a hundred thousand subscribers disappeared, it wouldn't be like this big national manhunt. Oh, it's it's changed. What's going on? Nothing. That's what's going on. Big surprise. Nothing. 
Oh my god, how is the tile creaking? I can understand how the wood might be creaking. Okay, close it. Okay, now we gotta turn around. Uh, now we can open it. Now it's different. Nope. We gotta wait. Uh, we gotta wait maybe for another door to appear. There we go. Okay, there's no more hallway. Another note. Please. I want to read it. Why? <laughs> Why did this happen? I'm not looking through those drawers. Somebody's sighing. I remember this nightstand being here. Oh, there's nothing in it. Oh. Oh, now the hallway's here. I should have known that that was how it was going to work. Okay, this one's well lit. Uh-oh, turn around. The lights are breaking. Turn around again. There's a couple of different ways this could go. Up. Oh, door unlocked. Is it this one that unlocked? Yep. The light's back on, so it's it's following the PT model almost exactly. Stop. Yeah, normal loop. There's always a normal one about three-fourths way through. Might even be two, who knows? What happened? Why are you so mad? You hurled that chair at me. I could have been seriously injured. I like I like how the story got like two notes in, and the developer was like you know what? I'm sick of this. And the third note just said, why? <laughs> That's enough to get the idea across. Just one word. This is my least favorite part of PT-esque games. Is the, I think I've checked everything, but apparently I haven't triggered the next event part. Wait, what? Apparently I just had to stand there for a little longer. <sighs> Empty hallway, there will be a door that appears when I turn around. Look behind you, it says! That's- Wait, is that the end? Oh, I don't- I don't want to go back in and find out. Okay, guys, that was error number 54. Here's the thing about PT-like games, PT-inspired games. There's no need for them. PT covered all the ground we'll ever need to cover in that genre. Forever. You're never going to do it as well as PT did it for a number of reasons. I mean, I've just played so many of these. RE77, uh, um, Continuous, Continuous Lee, uh, Dead Man's Journey. The list goes on and on. And I just see no reason to play another one again. Oh boy. Is it sad that the most interesting game of today's three random horror games was LIFO? <laughs> Perhaps. It's really a wasteland out there, folks. It's... Alright, sorry about that. Something weird happened. Whatever, I'll just cut this part out. Okay, so, um, three random horror games. I gotta say, uh, not really impressed with either of the three, but I gotta ask you guys, what did you think of the three random horror games that we played today, and which ones did you like, and what did you like about them? 
That's a tough one to answer, right? Um... What the fuck? Hello? Is anybody there? Hello? Anyone?